Hey guys, this is Cuber. Today I will be showing you how to boron treat your cubes. I announced this tutorial a while ago on Instagram and it is finally done. I have successfully boron treated a Yushin Little Magic. And you can see that the plastic has a kind of gray texture. The turning is really, really nice. Uh, it's really smooth and it has kind of a clacky feeling. Before we start the video, I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Tanner for teaching me how the whole boron treatment process works and also teaching me how to use all the chemicals. He was a huge help uh, just with the whole thing. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel and his Instagram page down below in the description so you can go check that out. Anyhow, let's get into the materials that you'll need. So the first thing that you'll need is two glass or ceramic uh, containers. I got these two 100 milliliter glass beakers off Amazon. By the way, I'll leave links to everything I have here down in the description if you wanna go buy them. They do have to be glass or ceramic because if they're plastic, uh, then they can melt due to the acetone. By the way, it doesn't matter that much what containers you use for the cube parts. However, I would recommend getting something that's not too wide because you have to be able to dip a cube part in this and have it fully submerged in the chemicals or whatever you're dipping it in. And if you get something really wide, then you're going to have to fill it up a lot more. Next thing you'll need is some metal tongs. I got these off Amazon as well. They're just some small ice tongs that you can use to grab the pieces so that you don't have to dip your hands in the chemicals. As for the chemicals, you're going to need two of them. The first one is boric acid. This stuff is a type of powder that comes in the form of a roach killer. And if you look at the ingredients, it says that it is 99% orthoboric acid, which is what you're looking for. I originally found some boric acid powder on uh, Amazon, it was $6 for six ounces of it, but I later looked on Home Depot and I got it in the form of this stuff, and it was only $3 for a whole pound of it. You don't need that much boric acid, actually. You only need about a teaspoon of it, at least for the size of the containers that I was using and the fact that I'm only uh, boron treating one cube, but you really don't need too much. The second chemical is a bit more expensive. This stuff is just standard acetone. Uh, you can find acetone in fingernail polish remover and stuff like that, and it can also be used uh, for resin, epoxy, and adhesives. It is flammable, uh, so you do have to be careful about that, and I would recommend that you try to not breathe in too much of it. One other thing about the acetone is that I have heard that some other people use nail polish remover because it contains about 50 to 75 percent acetone. However, uh, I decided to use pure acetone. I got a quart of it at Home Depot for about $7. You'll only need to use about 60 milliliters of it. And speaking of which, you'll also need 60 milliliters of uh, hot water as well, which I didn't show here because it's, come on, it's easy to get, it's water. I do want to mention something else, however, there's another chemical that the cubicle used back when they used to bore on treat cubes that is called THF or tetrahydrofuron. Tetrahydrofuron is a liquid that is extremely dangerous. I would not recommend using THF under any circumstances. It is flammable, it is a carcinogen, which means it can cause cancer. Uh, if you breathe in too much of it, it can make you nauseous. And eventually, uh, it is said to make you unconscious or dead. That's not fun, so I will leave a link down below to uh, the dangers of THF uh, from the government website of New Jersey, which I think sums it up pretty well. But I just wanted to mention that because I know that some other people have used THF without proper precautions. It's not even supposed to be exposed to air. It's very dangerous, so don't use it. So acetone is a lot safer than THF. Uh, however, you should still be careful with it, but that's what you're going to need for the chemicals. Finally, you'll need the cube and some stickers, uh, because you will have to unsticker the cube and disassemble it before you boron treat it. Anyhow, let's get into the boron treatment process. The first thing you have to do is pour 60 milliliters of acetone into the first beaker, and then pour 60 milliliters of hot water into the second. Next. Put a small amount of boric acid in a container and then spoon a little over a fourth of a teaspoon into the water and a little over three fourths of a teaspoon into the acetone. Make sure to stir both mixtures well. 
Before we start the boron treatment process, it's important to note that none of the hardware or center caps or the core need to be boron treated, so you can set those aside. Also, any pieces that you're boron treating will fuse into just one piece each, uh, which means that if you're planning on magnetizing the cube, you should take each corner piece and edge piece completely apart and then treat these smaller pieces one at a time. You'll have to treat each cube piece one at a time, first by dipping them in the acetone and boric acid solution only for one to two seconds just long enough for it to get covered in the solution, and then transferring it over to the water and boric acid solution where it can sit there for about 10 seconds. It doesn't really matter how long it sits in the water and boric acid solution, it's totally fine if you leave it in there for quite a while in fact. However, for the acetone solution it should only be left in there for a couple of seconds because if it's left in there too long then the piece can melt. Also when you're treating the center pieces, it's important to let the acetone drain out of the piece before you put the piece in the water solution, and also let the water drain out of the piece before you put the piece aside to dry. Anyhow, that's pretty much all there is to it for the treatment. You're just going to have to repeat the process for all of the different pieces, and after that's done, you should see that the pieces are already starting to turn a little bit gray, and some of the plastic might be uh, flaking off a tiny bit, but that's just fine. And you might have to sand down the pieces a tiny bit if the plastic is flaking, uh, but that's completely normal. Anyhow, that's pretty much it for the video. If you have any questions on the boron treatment, just let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I will likely uh, make a review on this cube as well, uh, just kind of discussing the advantages of the boron treatment, because I really like this cube so far, and I have gotten some very good times on it. So if you want me to do that, just let me know down in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.